Imagine this, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore spent 286 days in space, stranded far above Earth. And now, in the next nine minutes, we'll break down exactly how SpaceX pulled off one of the most extraordinary rescues in space history. Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmar are finally back on Earth, splashing down yesterday in a SpaceX capsule off the coast of Florida. She and fellow astronaut Butch Wilmore launched for a quick mission, but days turned into weeks, then months. The spacecraft meant to bring them back. It simply wouldn't cooperate. They were trapped with no way home. NASA scrambled for a solution. Then, an unexpected savior stepped in. A private company armed with rockets and a bold plan. This isn't some science fiction thriller. This is a real story. So what went wrong? And who risked everything to bring them back? Let's find out. It all began on June 5th, 2024, in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Two astronauts, Butch Wilmore, and Sunita Williams boarded a spaceship called Starliner, made by Boeing. Wilmore is a Navy pilot who's flown many types of aircraft, and Williams is an expert in space, having walked outside the space station more times than most people ever will. They were the first humans to ride Starliner, which was a big moment for Boeing. The spaceship was sitting on top of a powerful rocket called Atlas V. Starliner was designed to take people to the International Space Station and bring them back. It had 28 thrusters for movement and an emergency escape system in case of problems with the rocket. Boeing wanted to show they could compete with SpaceX, which was already sending astronauts into space regularly. The rocket launched and everything seemed to go smoothly. Starliner reached the ISS and docked with it. But soon, problems began. Helium, which helps push fuel to the engines, started leaking and five of the thrusters stopped working. These thrusters were crucial because they helped steer the ship and keep it safe when returning to Earth. NASA and Boeing worked hard to figure out what was going wrong. They ran tests, checked the data, and argued about how to fix the situation. After weeks of delay, they decided that it wasn't safe for Starliner to bring the astronauts back home. So, on September 6, 2024, the spaceship was sent back empty. It landed in New Mexico with parachutes opening, but no astronauts inside. Wilmore and Williams were stuck on the ISS, left behind in space. Up there, Wilmore and Williams didn't panic. The ISS is huge. It's bigger than a football field and there was plenty to do. It orbits 250 miles above Earth at 17,500 miles per hour. Wilmore, who's great with tools, fixed things like air filters and pipes. Williams went outside for her ninth spacewalk on October 12, 2024, setting a record for women. They also did science experiments like growing crystals and playing with liquids in zero gravity. They kept themselves busy for months. On a video call on February 13, 2025, Williams smiled and said, We're trained for this. It's not perfect, but we're good. Wilmore nodded. Yeah, and the view's not bad. They were handling things well, but they couldn't stay in space forever. Someone had to bring them back. But NASA had a problem. Boeing's spaceship didn't work, so they turned to SpaceX. SpaceX had been flying astronauts to the ISS since 2020 using its Crew Dragon spaceship which had never failed NASA. By late August 2024, they had a plan. Instead of sending a special rescue mission, they decided to use their regular flights. The next one, Crew-9, launched on September 28, 2024, from Kennedy Space Center. Two astronauts, Nick Haig and Alexander Gorbanov, went up in the Crew Dragon Freedom Spaceship, leaving two empty seats for Wilmore and Williams. The idea was simple. Crew-9 would stay until March, 2025. Then the next team, Crew 10, would arrive and bring Wilmore and Williams back home. The rescue mission, Crew 10, finally took off on March 14, 2025. At 7.03 p.m., a Falcon 9 rocket launched from Florida, carrying the Crew Dragon spaceship Endurance. Inside were four astronauts, Anne McLean, the mission commander, Nikol Ayers, Takuya Onishi from Japan, and Kirill Peskov from Russia. Their job was to take over duties on the ISS and prepare for Wilmore and Williams' return. The launch didn't happen on the first try. On March 12th, they had to cancel because a clamp on the rocket broke. The next day, March 13th, bad weather forced another delay. But on March 14th, everything was finally good to go. The Falcon 9's engines fired up, producing 1.7 million pounds of force, lifting it off the ground. 
A couple of minutes later, the bottom part of the rocket separated and landed safely on a ship in the ocean, which is a money-saving trick SpaceX uses. The top part carried Endurance into space. Falcon 9 is a powerful rocket with two sections. The first part has nine Merlin engines running on liquid oxygen and kerosene. It flies up, then returns to land for reuse. The second part has a single engine that pushes the spaceship into orbit. For Crew-10, the first part landed on a drone ship called Just Read the Instructions, while Endurance continued toward the ISS. Endurance has four small Draco thrusters that help it move in space. On March 15, at 11.30 p.m., it reached the ISS and docked automatically, though McLean could have taken control if needed. The Crew-10 team stayed for a few days, giving Wilmore and Williams time to hand over their duties before heading home. Then it was time to go home. On March 18, 2025, Wilmore, Williams, Haig and Gorbunov climbed into Freedom, the Crew-9 spaceship. They detached from the ISS and began their descent toward Earth. The ride down was intense. The ship hit the atmosphere at 17,500 miles per hour, heating up to 3,500 degrees. A heat shield protected it from burning up. As it got closer to Earth, four massive parachutes, each 35 meters wide, was open, slowing it down to just 15 miles per hour. At 5.57 p.m., Freedom splashed into the ocean near Tallahassee, Florida. SpaceX rescue boats rushed to the site. First, they checked for any dangerous gases from the thrusters like nitrogen tetroxide. Once everything was safe, they pulled the spaceship onto a recovery ship called MEGAN. Nearby, dolphins swam around, almost like they were welcoming the astronauts back. Wilmore and William stepped out, exhausted but happy. William smiled and said, I want a burger. Wilmore kept it simple. Good to be back. The whole mission sparked debate. President Trump and Elon Musk criticized NASA, saying they took too long and let politics get in the way. They claimed SpaceX had offered to bring the astronauts back earlier, but NASA refused. On social media, people argued where some angry were about the delays, others just relieved it worked. NASA denied the political claims, saying the delay was purely about safety and planning. But Wilmore and Williams weren't bothered. In February, they had already told everyone, we weren't abandoned, we had stuff to do. SpaceX pulled it off because their technology is top quality. The Falcon 9 rocket has been reusable since 2015, making space travel cheaper. Crew Dragon is built strong. It can carry seven people, though NASA usually sends only four. It also has eight Super Draco engines for emergencies, each producing 16,000 pounds of thrust. Back in 2020, SpaceX tested these by launching a fake broken rocket just to prove the escape system worked, something the old Challenger shuttle couldn't do in 1986. The Draco thrusters help with small movements, while the heat shield and parachutes ensure a safe landing. Boeing Starliner, on the other hand, wasn't as reliable. It failed in 2019 and again in 2024, with leaks and thruster issues. Meanwhile, SpaceX has now completed 10 successful crewed missions, earning NASA's trust. This mission wasn't just about technology, it was about people. Wilmore and Williams stayed calm and focused for 286 days. SpaceX showed what's possible. This was a big deal because space travel is unpredictable. One ship failed, another stepped up. That's why NASA uses both Boeing and SpaceX, so there's always a backup. In the end, the March 18, 2025, rescue proved what we're capable of. Wilmore and Williams made it home after nearly a year in space. What are your thoughts about this? Let us know in comments. Don't forget to like and share this video and please hit that subscribe button to support our journey. Thanks for watching.